This news update is brought to you by... Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras' theorem works, understand? Even headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music, and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be. Upgrade to Lime! Welcome to the Barbados Today Afternoon Update. It's Thursday, January 15, 2015. I'm Kemar Jordan. Thanks for joining us. We begin with a call for the opposition Barbados Labour Party to speak out on the Evidence Amendment Bill 2014, which was set to go before the Senate tomorrow. It comes from prominent attorney Andrew Pilgrim, who's concerned that the piece of legislation removes the right of accused persons to remain silent. Pilgrim says the bill was pushed through the lower house on November 28th last year, the same day the opposition staged a walkout of Parliament. He argues that the right to remain silent must not be changed without proper debate, and the consent of the public. Now, this is something that should be debated at length in the public forum, in, in the public. Mm -hmm. We should all have a say on this. It may, it may be that every people feel that this right to silence should go, but it, there should be debate on it. It's not something that should be done quickly and quietly. It's something that there should be a serious debate on. And with a parliament so full of lawyers, you would think that lawyers would want to debate on it. And if the BLP missed the debate, missed the bus, so to speak, they should be commenting on it now. They should be saying, well, the government passed this thing while we weren't there or whatever. There should be some debate on this. In other news, the former project manager for the Delta State Empowerment Program, that's the program that brought a number of Nigerian students here, that's Sharon Brathwit, is seeking to clear her name on the heels of the recent controversy involving the 90 visiting Nigerian students. An emotional Brathwit tells Barbados today she's innocent of any wrongdoing, even as she issued a public apology to the Prime Minister and people of Barbados over the issue. Brathwit also insists that she was suspended from the program two weeks ago and not fired after employers placed an announcement in the press stating that she was no longer allowed to conduct business on their behalf. She says she's brokenhearted that the project, which has great potential for strengthening future relations between Barbados and Africa, had gone wrong. I believed in the program and I wanted Barbados to have something to benefit from, you know, and there are, to bring in foreign reserves here. Um, to the island. We would have worked many, many hours. I would have had conference calls at 2, 3 a.m. in the morning because of the time difference. I would have um, neglected myself, my work, my friends, everyone to make sure that this comes off. Huh? Her comments follow a number of public complaints made by the Nigerian students who have expressed strong dissatisfaction over the quality of their accommodation. Brathwit says Infinity on the Beach was initially paid over 300,000 U.S. dollars as a deposit and to secure the rooms for the students back in August. However, due to several changes to the arrival date for the students, the hotel decided to unblock the rooms. The students who arrived here in December were therefore housed at Casa Grande in Albury, St. Philip, which Brathwit says was given an initial payment of 40,000 U.S. dollars for five weeks. She said she later discovered that a contract had been drawn up between the facilitator Donna St. Hill and Mrs. Ram Merchandani, the owner of Casa Grande, to pay that hotel over 100,000 U.S. dollars per month for the full nine months of the course. Meantime, the Barbados government is taking steps to ensure that the Nigerian saga does not repeat itself. Education Minister Ronald Jones describes the situation as unfortunate and says his office will be putting a policy framework in place to guide such initiatives in the future. This was an unfortunate scenario that spilled out as a result of a, a combination of factors, some human-made and some not human-made. That, 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 is, that is the reality. But you can rest assured that the agencies of government will work either as individuals or cooperatively to ensure that not only the needs of those Nigerians are satisfied here, but any other um, group or individual student. A top tourism official is hopeful that plans for the construction of new hotels and the refurbishment of others will give the bread and butter industry the push it needs. However, Executive Vice President of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, Sue Springer, says Barbados is still lagging behind its Caribbean tourism competitors. She was speaking at the annual awards ceremony of the Mango Bay Group last night 
And Springer said she's optimistic that the new projects will help the country to see better days. With all this construction, it will mean that a number of hotels that have closed over the past five, or ten, or five to ten years will actually now become re-operationalized. And that will mean that Barbados will once again get back to the hotel room number of 6,500 rooms as we were over ten years ago. <clears throat> what this does mean, though, is that we are still falling behind many of our other competitors in the, uh, in the region because although they didn't have the number of rooms we had, they are on a growth pattern, whereas we've been on, shall we say, a holding pattern. There's regional and international news after this short break. the Naniki Barbados Music Festival January 15, 17, and 18. Featuring Denise Jana, David Rudder, and Maxi Priest. Be at the Frank Colomer Hall January 15th as Denise Jana presents Ella, a tribute to jazz legend Ella Fitzgerald. Then on January 17th, Maxi Priest takes over holders and David Rudder unites the Caribbean on January 18th on the lush grounds of Naniki. Other featured acts include Debbie Reefer, Nikita and C4, Albert Olton, and Biggie Irie. Tickets are $80 general, $250 VIP. Visit any Ticket Pal outlet or nanikimusic.com. The Naniki Barbados Music Festival is brought to you by JetBlue, DB South Winds, Barbados Tourism Marketing Inc., The Sandpiper, Settlers Beach, and Ticket Pal. To news from the region now, Ghana's Private Sector Association is not on board with plans for early elections in the country. The president, Donald Ramatar, promised to name the date for elections early this year after coming under immense pressure from several sections of the society to call the poll. But the chairman of the Trade and Investment Committee believes a poll a year ahead of schedule does not bode well for, well for business. So we hate elections. Having elections before the five years is up is a huge disincentive for the private sector. Absolutely. On the international scene, the United Nations says new Ebola cases in the three worst affected West African countries are declining. According to weekly figures by the UN, Sierra Leone and Guinea both recorded the lowest weekly totals of confirmed Ebola cases since August. Liberia, it said, reported no new cases for two days last week. The death toll from the world's worst Ebola outbreak has, however, reached, eight, which reached the 8,000 mark with over 21,000 cases so far. And finally, a Nigerian bishop makes an impassioned plea for international help as Boko Haram militants continue to terrorize the country. The call comes on the heels of recent satellite images which show evidence of the carnage left behind in the villages by the group. The international community, seeing perhaps the inability of Nigeria to contain this situation, should also offer help. And this is the help we are not seeing. Now we saw it very glaringly. And I say I, I, I liked it when I saw the huge numbers gathered in, in Paris and then the heads of state from different nations all coming together for a common cause. Why can't we share the same sympathy, solidarity, concern? And on that note, we end our afternoon update, but you can join us again this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper or email updates, or better yet, you can like us on Facebook. You can also catch us if you're out and about on Izumi Media in bus terminals or a screenplay in supermarkets or a gas station near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV to get all the very latest news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Have a safe and wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you later on. This news update is brought to you by... Everyone's looking for more space. How many pairs of shoes do you need? Closet space. Circle again, I think I see one. Parking space. And that is how Pythagoras' theorem works, understand? 
even Headspace. But when it comes to data storage, MyCloud from Lime has plenty of room for you. Upgrade to a Lime data plan of 500 megs or more and get 3 gigs of MyCloud data storage free. It's great for storing photos, music and much more. So don't delete it. Store it on MyCloud from Lime. It's the only space to be.